The largest painting in the exhibition offers us a unique insight into life in Newgate Prison. And this is a painting of Henry Fauntleroy, who was one of the most notorious criminals of the 19th century. We see the upper condemned cell in Newgate Prison. This is where prisoners prepared to go out onto the scaffold on the day of execution. Framed in the doorway is Henry Fauntleroy. He was a 40-year-old banker, a fraudster, and a condemned man. And these are his final moments in Newgate Prison. We see him having his arms pinioned behind his back, but his hands are still left free so that he can pray on the scaffold. Henry Fauntleroy was one of the most famous criminals of the 19th century. He stole so much money from the bank for which he worked, and he became famous subsequently because he was one of the final people to be executed for forgery. By the 1820s, that was a crime that many people felt shouldn't be punishable by death. Because it was such a famous case, it was claimed that up to 100,000 Londoners came out to see his execution on 30th of November, 1824. The other interesting thing about this painting is that the artist we know to have been a prisoner himself, it's signed by William Thompson, an artist who we previously knew very little about until we found three further etchings by the artist. One was signed WT and it was inscribed by an inmate of Newgate Prison. And so we looked into the records and we found the case of the three Thompson brothers, William, Joseph and James, who were convicted in 1824 for robbing a house. William, in fact, was not involved in the theft and he even helped the police to capture his brothers, but he was nevertheless condemned to die with them. Like most condemned men, the Thompson brothers petitioned for mercy. Thankfully, they were reprieved. James and Joseph, their sentence was commuted to be transported to Tasmania, and William remained in prison until he was finally pardoned in 1829. So he was there in Newgate along with Henry Fauntleroy and would have met him. He may have even been there on that final day. And actually, if we look at the background of the painting, there's a young man with blonde hair who's looking out at us, inviting us to bear witness to these final fateful moments of Henry Fauntleroy.